This is a chance for us, alongside all the other citizens of the United Kingdom, whether in uniform or not, um, to show our allegiance in and support for His, His Majesty and Her Majesty as they, are, as they formally ascend the throne. He's our Commander-in-Chief. And I think it's a joy for all of us that we have in him someone who has a deep understanding of what it is like to serve. You know, as the many documentaries are showing at the moment, as a young man, he spent a certain small amount of time with the Royal Air Force and then actually quite a few years serving at sea um, in ships and in air squadrons of the Royal Navy, including command of HMS Bronington. So he knows our world really well and throughout his life has continued to demonstrate close interest in support for uh, the men and women who wear his uniform uh, and also for their families because they are part of this we cannot do what we do without the support of of those who are our families and our friends and his majesty has never wavered um, in his interest and an acknowledgement of that and finally, sir, if I may, what is your message to all the military personnel taking part in the coronation? Enjoy it. Absolutely enjoy it. These are rare and deeply special events. It is a chance for us, whilst paying close attention to make sure we get our part right, actually to, to just have personal pride. You know, the eyes not just of the nation, but across the world will be on us. This is something about which, you know, Great Britain is great. This is a chance for the United Kingdom to, to come together and we will be for a few, for a few minutes in that day, kind of in, in the centre of it all. And if you can't enjoy and invest in, that, in, in those moments, then I think it's a great opportunity lost.